Hey, good morning to you. We're back on another uh, another Friday. Today, we're going to talk about not shooting the messenger, which is actually kind of important because uh, <laughs> in our lives, we get a lot of messengers. And this matters. So uh, so let's dig in this. I get these crazy headphones and they never want to go in the way I want them to go in. But good morning to you. So there they go. Now I can hear myself. Not that you guys can hear me. I'm pretty sure you can, but I couldn't hear me. And you need to have, know like, your voice volume because if I get too much in the mic, it sounds weird. But let's do this. So we're going to talk about this today, not shooting the messenger, what this means. Good and rising from the UK. I see hello from Idaho. Annie, how you doing? Good morning to you. Uh, let's rock and roll. So here's the thing. In life, we, um, we have a lot of different conversations. And I had a conversation with some, a group of people yesterday, a mastermind that I came in and was talking to. Good morning, Marie Johnson. In the conversation, uh, we had a lot of different ups and downs and different lefts and rights. And we had one person ask a question, which was pretty good. I'm really big on figuring out why you're doing something, right? And I'm not going to go deep into the why. You can go see Simon Sinek for that. The dude's amazing. If you know him, let me know. I'd love to have him on my podcast. So Simon talks about know your why, like what's your why? And, and somebody asked me the question and said, how do you know, you know, how do you find out what you're struggling with? How do you find out what your, your thing is? How do you find out what your why is? How do you find out what may be in the way, like your roadblocks, right? It's a big piece, what's your roadblocks? Good morning, Danny, Sonia, Kaz, James. And so the roadblocks are an interesting question. And as I went into kind of figuring out this whole back end, right, I was like, well, what I did this thought. And here's the thought I believe. If you have blocks or, or things that are keeping you stuck and you're unaware of them, here's a simple way you can figure out what those are. And I call it talking to the messengers. The messengers are interesting in our life. We all have messengers. We have people we talk to. We have individuals that come into our life and we have, they give us amazing thoughts. And, and as these thoughts kind of come in, there's ways that we kind of receive them and then don't receive them. I think this becomes an area where a lot of people who have blind spots or blocks and aren't sure what they are, if you do it right, you can find out what those are and work on them now, right? Not to get stuck in a position for far too long. And here's what it looks like. There are a lot of people in your life right now who tell you things that you don't want to hear. Let's be honest. You've got someone that tells you, hey, it's kind of a pipe dream. You shouldn't do that, right? Maybe you have someone that tells you, like, you're a little bit lazy. You should work a little bit harder. Maybe you have someone that tells you, like, hey, you aren't the, the nicest. You aren't the smartest. You aren't the most capable, right? Maybe they tell you, hey, you are capable of this. You can do this. You should do this. Why aren't you doing this? And they, they give you insight. These are the messengers in our life, right? Um, Tony, maybe you can be in one of the videos. He's a good actor. I see you, Tony. Maybe. Reach out. And so what I found is that at the end of the day, like, we don't realize that these messengers are people in our lives giving an insight into our blind spots that we don't see. And you might have a blind spot right now you're completely unaware of because it's in your blind spot, right? And if you think about a blind spot when you're driving a car, you might go into that space and wreck your car because you don't see what's over there, right? Blind spots occur in our lives all the time. They're constantly there. And if we can't see into the blind spots, we're never aware of what we can and what we can't do. And people wonder, how do I look into them? Other people are seeing them all the time. And in fact, most people in your life are telling you. Now, who do we listen to? That's a big question too, right? You can listen to people who are just people on the internet, people in the world. There are a lot of trolls out there, crazy people. I get them on these live streams in the morning sometimes. They happen, right? Those people you probably shouldn't listen to. However, there are some people that you respect, that you look up to, that maybe you've hired as a coach or they're, they're in your life in some capacity. And to be honest, they'd probably give you some insights that maybe they hit your heart a little bit. You don't want to hear it, but you know you need to hear it, right? And what I'm telling you is these people that are in your capacity, in your realm, or around your body, man, you got to get to a point of listening to them sometimes. Thank you so much, Tara. I appreciate it. Harmony Weddings. You got to start listening to these people because the truth is they care about you enough to tell you these things. And you know what these people, what they mean, they're hard of them. You just don't like hearing what you're hearing right now. You know that sometimes you hear what you hear, you, you take it as an attack when really it's not an attack. It quite literally is just them trying to say, hey, here's something you need to work on. Because if you don't work on this, you're going to keep causing problems and knocking things over in your life. You probably don't want to be a bull in a china shop all over your life. And so what I'm telling you is don't shoot the messenger, hug the messenger. Hug them. Right. Someone that comes into your life and tells you, hey, this is going on. I see this. You might want to work on this and it might hurt your feelings and it might not make make you feel good right now. But if you find out what this thing is, here's the problem. Here's a good thing. This thing that may hurt your feelings now may help your feelings later. This thing you may hear right now that doesn't feel so good might be like, oh, I don't want to hear that. But you know what? It lets me know what to work on. Now I can work on it. Now I can eliminate a problem for my life and experience more joy, and more happiness. Yes. So when somebody comes to tell you something you don't want to hear, but you need to hear, don't shoot the messenger. Don't shoot them down. Don't make them feel bad. Don't get in the argument. Don't push them away. I'm telling you what you got to do is hugging them. Bring them in and say, hey, you know what? It doesn't feel good to hear this, but I thank you for telling me the truth because here's the thing we hear about all the time. Tough love. I hear tough love a lot. Hey, got to give them some tough love. Got to tough love. I don't think this thing of tough love exists the same way most people think. I, I, I hear tough love and my brain goes to just love. Not tough love, it's just 
love, right? If I love somebody enough, I'll tell them the truth. It's not tough. It's the truth. I love you enough for my heart to know what I, you need to hear. I'm going to love you enough to tell you this thing. And I'm not going to worry about my feelings. I'm going to worry about your feelings. And it may not be great right now, but I know that years from now, if you're in a funky place because I didn't say something, I'm going to feel bad. It's just me loving on you. It may come all across as a tough thing to hear, but it doesn't mean it's tough love. It's just actual love. Right, so I want you to embrace these people in your life. I want you to turn around. There might be someone who's been in your life for a long time telling you these things that you honestly have been like, oh, I don't want to, man, I just, mom, leave me alone. Dad, leave me alone. Husband, leave me alone. Wife, leave me alone. Kids, friends, colleagues, leave me alone. No, hug them. Stop getting mad at them. Stop cutting people off. I have individuals who I know who it's a cycle that they can't see. They get in this cycle. And I hear constant conversations about, man, they didn't get me, so I cut them off. They didn't get me, so I cut them off. They didn't get me, so I cut them off. Ooh, you cut everybody off. Everybody got cut off? That's not smart. It's not wise. Why, why did they get cut off? Because they didn't believe the same thing you believe. They didn't tell you what you wanted to hear and make you feel good. They weren't on your side. You think that everybody's against you. Everybody in your life is not on your side. It's not the case. In fact, they're on your side. Your side for being great, for reaching a full potential, for getting out of your own way. They're on your side, but it just feels uncomfortable to hear the truth sometimes. So what you do is you surround yourself with yes men and yes women who tell you, yeah, you're great, you're doing amazing, you got this, and guess what? You end up looking up one day feeling lonely while around a bunch of people. It happens. People feel lonely while around a bunch of people because these people that are around them aren't for them, right? And so I'm telling you right now, if you find these people in your life who are giving you insight from a caring place and you know what it looks like, it's the difference between someone trying to bag on you, make you feel bad, attack you, and someone who's trying to come to you with love and say, look, I love you, I care about you, but you really need to hear this right now. Those are the people you got to keep close. Stop pushing them away, stop cutting them off because you're cutting off a lifeline. You're cutting off a lifeline of your success in the future. This is my, my rant to you today, and I hope it hits you in your heart somewhere. I don't know who it's supposed to hit. I don't know if it's a message that hits your heart. Maybe it's something you got to share with somebody because somebody in your life needs to hear this. I have no idea. Maybe you've been that person trying to give that love to somebody. They feel it's tough love, and they be taken away, right? They, they, they kind of fall away from, from the, the wayside of not being online with you. And you're like, ah, man, come on back. Send this video to them. Hey, you, it's meant for you. Stop cutting people off. <laughs> Stop shooting the messenger. Start hugging the messenger. We care about you. We want you to do well. And here's the truth. Sometimes the seeds of growth like this, we can't plant them. We want to. We want to plant that seed and make it work. Sometimes we can't plant it. Sometimes it's somebody else's job, maybe mine right now, to plant the seed for somebody else. And maybe you're like, if somebody plants it, I can water it. You might find it's not even a seed that I can water. Sometimes you can't plant it. You can't water it. You can't do any of it. And you got to step away from it sometimes and let it all just simmer with somebody else. But what you can do is direct them in the position or the direction of that seed. Go see somebody. Go send them somewhere to get that message. Because I'm telling you, if you love somebody, like I love people in life, Sometimes we can't be the one that plants the seed and actually waters it. We have to be the one that sits back and watches it bloom. You have to sit back and watch it bloom. Watch the world do what it does. Watch it all operate. You get to watch it bloom and celebrate it. You can harvest it. Have some fun with that person. But direct it when they got to be erected. That's it. That's my message for you today. I got to go down to the doctors. I'm getting surgery in April. April 1st, I'm having surgery on this shoulder. Most people don't know, but I got a really bad shoulder still from the NFL. Uh, and I have bone spurs and arthritis and a lot of funkiness. So this morning, I'm going to go do it. I, working out is very difficult for me, like lifting weights. And I like to lift weights. Um, but I have like, I guess what I found out is bone when stress creates more bone. So in my humorous, I have like a bone sticking down and it's not fun. <laughs> like I can only lift my arm like this high. It's super weird. Anyways, I know you don't care, but I'm telling you anyways, I'm going to let you go. If you don't yet, I saw somebody say it and thank you so much for sharing it. Shiftstarterdaily.com. He says, don't leave. No, <laughs> Joey, my man, Joey from back in the day. Those of you guys um, who follow me and know my, my story. Um, back when I was doing like playing football in high school, I was really bad at football in the beginning. I sucked. The first couple of years, I wasn't very good. And my man, Joey, Joey Garcia, we went to Chichi Boo Park. Joey used to come out with me uh, and he used to be the quarterback. I would run. I tell the story all the time about how I ran around. I caught the footballs, ran the routes. Joey was there running, running with me, man. He was throwing the ball to me at Chichi Boo Park. We're hanging out. We used to drive to school today every day. He's now a sheriff. Solid human beings, a good pops. Him and his kids made this cool little superhero video. Anyways, I'm just telling you stories. But if you ever see Riders Joy, man, great dude. Uh, he's, he's from back in my back in my stories <laughs> of when I was trying to be great. But anyways, 
Go listen to the Shift Starter Daily. It's a daily eight minutes. Um, it's a way for me to share a message that comes from my heart. And I just rip and roll for eight minutes, get your day started, your heart started, get the kind of day moving a little bit. Today's, a, 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 I'll call it a happy episode for me. I'm giving a shout out to somebody who's special in my life, uh, in, in my career life, we'll call it, a colleague. But she's got, a, she's got a great heart. So I'm giving a little shout out to her in that episode today. So make sure you guys listen to it. Um, it matters that you do to me and it matters that you like it. But it's simple. ShiftStarterDaily.com. Go check it out. And also, don't shoot the messengers. That's it. Take care. Love you guys. See you on Monday.